here for our Sunday reset. Today we're going to be stuffing, let's see, 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 85, 95, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 312 dollars. Let's do some adjusting as always, you guys. I'm telling you, these tables just need to be bigger. All right. How's everybody's week going? Mine's been busy as usual. I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, I know about. And hopefully, hopefully, I know I keep saying that, we'll get these taxes done. Uh, I've been working on them this morning, so. That's my plan, to at least get them started, if not done. All righty, let's see what we gotta get done here. In the wallet, I did not have much left over, let me tell you. Let's pull this open. In groceries, uh, let's get closer. Hopefully you can See this, maybe. Try, uh oh, I'm making a mess, you guys. Okay, in groceries, we start out with 900. You can see it down here. We spent 223, which left us 677. All the groceries are marked in green. This 57 at Sam's Club, if you watched my uh, Sam's Club, Walmart, bread store haul, this morning, uh, it was toilet paper, but you got $15 back off of that with the Fetch app, which you know I pet toward uh, restaurant cards, but still, it's $15. Eating out, we ate out a lot. All this blue is eating out. So this, this week, we're gonna try not to eat out. We start out with $300. We spent 180 or 118, which leaves us 182 for the month. Not good, you guys. We ate out way too much. Um, some of this was, let's see, this was for a pizza, pizza for the kids, and I know one of these was grandbabies. That win, Wendy's, I think, was grandbabies. All right, our fuel. We start out at 400. We spent 117. That leaves us 283. And this is now just my van, his truck. My van's needing more fuel. I don't know about his truck. Health, we didn't spend anything. We start with 150. We didn't spend anything. Pets, we start with 50, which we have 50 back up in our other envelopes. We didn't spend anything, which I do need to go buy dog food. So we're at zero. Oh, shoot. We spent zero, spent zero. Okay. Let's see about our wallet. We need to pull these receipts out for the Fetch app. And I have already put some of them in the Fetch app because you guys, um, I don't want them to expire on me if I forget after we do this video. So we do have some change to pull out. I still haven't fixed this little thing here, but I have noticed that I've pulled the end of it. Well, I think, yeah, right there we go. If I pull the end of it, we can open it up. This was, I stuck that in there so I wouldn't lose it. I had to mail out something. I wanted to keep up with that. I've got the little thing down in there. I just had to put it back on. I got, oh, got my quarter back in for all these. Okay, I spent most of my money, you guys. I didn't add it up. Groceries, we are adding just to keep in cash, which sometimes I use the, uh, debit card on and we just have to put it back in the bank this week in groceries we're adding 137 so 1 10 20 30 5 36 37 and you can see what i've spent so far 71.55 on uh, household products out of our grocery money. Eating out, we are only adding $2. 
We're not getting much with that, but that's what it ad averaged out to. So that's what we're getting this week. We do have the $10 card in here for the restaurant. Health, we still have our 30. We're adding another 30, so we'll have 60 in health and cash. I might have to pick up some medicine this week. I don't know if we need any or not. Fuel, we are adding 43. And 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I thought I had more than that. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. It still has the 50, so we're not adding anything. I've already deposited what we needed to deposit. This is my best card. Okay, Howard, that's all we got left. He stayed pretty much in his budget. Uh, I don't know if I did the figures on it, but I think I think he was only over uh, four, six, $6. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the 100 in his. And we'll take, if he goes over the, again this time, we'll take it out next week. So I'm just going to stick that in here where the receipts go till I pull out that envelope for him. And there's the wallet, guys. It's ready to go for next week. And you'll see I erased paycheck one. We haven't actually got paycheck two. I think it'll go in the bank probably tomorrow or Tuesday. And then we'll be able to do these other, these other things. It usually goes in around the 11th or the 12th. Okay. The next thing we do is take a look. See all the spending I did? That's why I didn't get stuffed. I didn't stuff nothing for me because I, I haven't spent my whole 250 yet, but I sure spent over the 50 I put in there. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna have you all watch all these again. Uh, I do the same thing every week. The only thing I'm trying to figure out this week is how I want to do my videos. I want to come up with a plan to follow for the videos. You can, uh, the previous video, we did get the menu plan down. Easter Sunday's coming up this week. I have one doctor's appointment here. We will double check and see. My daughter's birthday is tomorrow. My brother-in-law's birthday is tomorrow. Let's see what else we got coming up. Uh, I haven't put it on here, but I have my oldest daughter's anniversaries here on the 12th. Yeah. I've got a big Sandy repairman coming out again for that washing machine, y'all. He didn't fix it last time. He was incorrect on uh, what was wrong with it. He thought it was just not level, uh, and he reset the codes and didn't put a part on it. Well, as soon as he left, it did the same thing again. So, he didn't get it fixed. Yeah, I better get them taxes paid. Look at there, or not paid. We're gonna get a big big refund, but better, I better get that done, so, cause tax day's coming up this week, isn't it? Uh, I gotta keep, let's see, the 14th. I have to keep in grandbabies. My daughter's gonna go out of town for her anniversary. Critters. It's a sloppy looking thing there. And now we might be having a little wedding reception on Friday for one of my good friends. Okay. And that is about it. I'm gonna fill these in like I do every week with my zones. This week we are in, I will tell you that much, this week we are in zone. Right. Starting on the 11th, we're in zone three this week. And zone three is, I should know this by now you guys, but my brain just isn't working too good today, I guess. Um, zone three is the bathrooms and laundry room. So I'll fill out what needs done in those. I'll fill out my routines. Uh, the focus this month is making your beds. That's one of the fly lady things. So 
If you don't already, if you're not already in the habit of that, you might want to get in the habit of that for this month. And uh, I think all we got left to do is add up our change. Okay, I got my money jar. Uh, Thirty-eight, sixty-seven. Let's get the total up here so we'll know what we're going to have. I know we don't have a whole lot, but. Let's see. Every little bit helps, guys. I know I keep saying that. Okay, that gave us thirty-nine forty-four. So we had seventy-seven cents. We'll add it up at the end of the month. The only other thing I wanted to do is some shout outs and I'm picking three ladies this week and I'll be in certain photos and giving you a little info on each. I really, really admire these ladies and hope you guys will check out their channels. Check out Free to Fly Budgeting. She's having a really hard time now. Her husband was in an accident and needs our support. Check out Mimi. What a great gal this lady is. She is so much fun to watch. Check out Lisa at Figuring Out Retirement. She has an eBay shop, plus her YouTube channel, plus, a, plus an Etsy shop. Okay, there it was. Uh, that's it for this Sunday. If you haven't already, please, if you like my content, please subscribe. We're working our way up to 200 subscribers. Watch tomorrow for the giveaway show uh, where you all are picking the prize. Please like this video and leave me a comment down below. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.